Hello folks. It's not a beautiful day, but any day's a good day when you're on the beach really, isn't it? And it's not raining just at the moment, although I think it might yet. There's the guillemots out for a little fly. Very pretty little birds. Okay, so back in Bangor, County Down, um, to one of my favourite beaches where there are always lots of bits to see. A little bit of lime, a little bit of aqua. I can see brown, I can see oh, lovely dark sage green. We're okay, hiding a tiny little bit of these, but we have plenty of big ones to see as well. Now, that is, I believe, a very pale lilac. And what I mean by that, it is going to be lilac if it stays out in the sun long enough. So it's just got a faint hint, and I need now to find a bit of clear. <gasps> well, looky here. Don't need to find a bit of clear because there are two bits snuggled together. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, good job I find that. So that bit is clear. That bit is most definitely lilac or lavender, whatever you prefer to call it. Big old ugly bit of clear. There's unfortunately unfinished that bit. It looks as though it's been tumbled and then got bashed again. Oh, oh little bit of sea powder, right? Which I love. It's an unusual one, I haven't found that one before. That means part of the rest of it's in here somewhere. There's you get a lot of just plain white or cream pottery. Uh, I can see some brown there. Now these are the bits I like, the kind of older. Look at that. Lovely, lovely blue there. Really nice. Beside a little bit of sea foam that sort of illuminates from the inside. Very pretty. Got an older bit there. It's kind of off I think the rim of a bottle. Gorgeous colour. And that really nice deep sage green. Pretty piece of sea foam. Isn't it funny, that aqua just looks more same foam now, um, so it might not be that old. Kind of seems old. Uh, big old chunk of fairly ugly clear. And I hope you can see here lots and lots of clear green. Yeah, plenty to see. So I'm going to go on to the other part of this beach. I'm going to turn you off while I put you on pause while I do that because it can be a little bit nauseating uh, if, I work, <laughs> if I move quickly. So I'm going to put you on pause for a wee second. Actually, I've only got about three steps and then I spotted this nice. Oh, it's not that nice actually. It is certainly amber rather than brown. Mm, not very nice. That is shell for a wonderful moment. I thought it was peach, but it's not. There's more aqua, sea foam, plenty of green, black glass. Look at that. I love that. So not too hard to spot actually because there is that little dink but just look how black that is it really is <laughs> that's why they call it black glass palest lavender yes hooray I always feel very smug when I find the right thing lovely beautiful tail mm, nom 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 well, greeny teal, not teal green as opposed to teal blue, I suppose. Right, I'll go back to the other side as I promised. Good stuff. 
So this seems to happen every year. The architecture of this beach changes. It seems to move along the coast and then come back later in the year. But that uncovering can uncover really lovely little bits. Um, so things like sea pottery that have been buried for a while. Uh, the other problem with this beach is there's so much, many mussel shells that pretend to be blue. Glass. They pretend to be blue, but they're not blue glass. It's no, not very nice. I hope you can see all these. So I'm going to give you a little fly by. The rest of them. No, it's not that nice. Uh, give you a little fly by. Let me see. Here. Nothing very exciting. I'm not that disappointed, to be honest. I would have hoped for more colour. Yeah, that's a bit nicer there. That's more like the thing. Yeah. A little bit better, I can see. Green. There's a very pale, almost could it be UV? I don't know, it kind of looks UV, doesn't it? Hmm, that might be, that might actually be UV. I always think I find UV, and it's always that kind of colour there. But we'll keep our fingers crossed that that actually is UV. It certainly is nice and bright. It's a pretty colour, even if it's UV. Let's put it that way. So the shingle has moved up the beach. And here we have all the colours of the rainbow. You see? There and there. There. Yep, that's actually off uh, the bottom of a light bulb. You can see, I think, I'm almost certain it is, and that actually is true black glass. It's possibly Bakelite, I'm not sure. Uh, lots of colour here, thank goodness. I'm feeling much more cheerful. Mmm, 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 nom nom nom, I like, I love that tea, that's beautiful. True Amber, another little bit, yeah, they're definitely Amber, not quite yellow, no, I'm not even going to pretend they're yellow. There's a Lime. Mine is the, oh look, it's the smallest bit, well it's not the smallest bit I've ever collected but it is a very small bit of red but it is true red and it is glass. Oh. All I need now to make me completely happy because I've got lilac, I would like a bit of blue please. Oh that's those gilly moths doing all that shouting. No it's not, it's a Oh, no, I think it's seagulls. So, yeah, I would like a little bit of blue or blue and white sea pottery. These would, be, would both be equally welcome. Nice old bottles there. Come blue, where are you? <laughs> So it would just be sitting there waiting for me, although it should be. You can see lots of sea foam, lots of green, lots of clear. There's more of that nice apple actually. But, mm, a bit sharp. Stay. That's, that's the one that I think often is uh, 
goofy and it's not, so it can stay. Ha <laughs> ha It might be tiny, but it is blue. And if that turned out to be it, no, that was too much to hope for. But a blue and white pottery right beside it, that would have been amazing. That's just bone china. Bone china, when it gets rubbed enough, is absolutely delicious to your touch. It's a silky, silky smooth. What do we think? Some sort of pot, I think, rather than a tile. Plenty more colours here. Now that's a bit older, that. That's proper aqua, as opposed to sea foam. That's lovely. Well, I think so. <laughs> Doubting myself today. Soon find out. That's deeper. Oh, green pottery from a green mug, I suspect. Alright my dears, that's the end of my collecting for today. Oh that bit of pale blue, not very nice, but pale blue. This tide's going out and County Antrim has disappeared nearly, apart from the power station over there. So. Wishing you all every good wish from Bangor County Down. Blessings to all. Take care.